Well, what should have been the most exciting day of our world travel so far quickly became probably one of the most disappointing days yet. Our train has broken down in the middle of the jungle. We've been stopped for probably about 30 minutes so far, and based on the little bit of Spanish that we do know, we overheard on the radio it sounds like it'll be another 30 minutes. We've been up since 2 a.m., and we're just hoping they can get this train going so we're not stuck in the jungle overnight. We are Jordan and Soph. After living in Alaska for three years, we decided to quit our jobs to travel internationally for a full year, which has brought us here to Peru. From the coastal deserts to the Andes Mountains, this country is filled with diverse landscapes and rich history that we are excited to explore. Good morning, it is 3 a.m. and we are in Cusco, Peru, waiting outside of our Airbnb to get picked up to go to Machu Picchu. So here we go. All right, so after some miscommunication with our taxi driver that's picking us up for the tour, who was actually walking down the street, asked for the wrong hotel name, walked right by us, we were confused on to when we were supposed to get picked up. We finally did make it to the actual shuttle bus and we are now here at the train station to get to Machu Picchu. So what I didn't realize before getting here or before you know booking all this is Machu Picchu is actually quite a ways away from Cusco. And to get there, you have to generally take a two hour bus ride and then a two hour train ride. And then you take another bus up to Machu Picchu. So we're on stage two of this three stage journey to Machu Picchu. taxi ride to a little van and the van shuttled us about two hours here to the train station for Machu Picchu and I will warn you the van shuttle ride is so bumpy I don't know what kind of road it was driving on I kind of half slept since it was you know four in the morning but we made it here to the train we didn't have enough time to grab coffee but there's coffee and little stalls where you can buy hats or you can buy ponchos to wear up at the market, so you have options there. So we just got on the train. The train ride is approximately two hours up to Machu Picchu. I love this train because it has great viewing windows, so we'll get to see the scenery on the way up. So here we go. Our Airbnb host packed us a nice little breakfast for us because they knew where we were leaving at 3 a.m. So they actually dropped us off a little breakfast last night. That way we can have it today on our little trip. All right, so we found our tour guide and we're now here in Aguas Calientes. It's where the train ends and where you hop on another bus to go up to Machu Picchu, or you can decide to take the steps and go all the way up to Machu Picchu. Because of the elevation sickness and just how we were feeling yesterday, we decided just to take the bus up because it's quite a bit quicker, so we'll have a little bit more time there. Plus, like I said, we want to worry about, you know, the breathing and all that good stuff, trying to go up all the steps. We grabbed a quick coffee because our tour leaves in about 20 minutes to go hop on those buses to head on up to Machu Picchu. have made it into Machu Picchu. I may have dumped like half a bottle of water on my lap, but other than that, we're doing great and we finally get to check out this beautiful site.
Well, what should have been the most exciting day of our world travel so far quickly became probably one of the most disappointing days yet. So, everything was going pretty well. We were going through the tour at Machu Picchu, we were on the lower levels and checking everything out, learning a lot from the tour guide. And the question is, how do people could obtain that kind of architecture, Imperial Inca? When Hiram Binga was here the second time with many workers, the workers found in this mountain another material is stronger than white granite. Getting a few pictures in. However, you know, we were on a very strict path, had to follow the tour guide around, and then very quickly whisked down there with before ever getting to check out like the higher area where you get that typical Machu Picchu picture and you know before we had any time to explore. Yeah, we were just quickly whisked out. And once we got out on the, or once we left, I was like, this feels very wrong. I feel like when I booked this, there was supposed to be a lot more going on. A lot of other stuff that we're supposed to get to do and see while we're there in Machu Picchu. I was looking at the itinerary that I had screenshotted just a couple of days ago. And sure enough, you know, on there, there was listed about three hours of free time. However, since we had already left, there was no re-entry and we we're pretty much out of luck. I've had a lot of time to think on this trip down because it is like an hour and 20 minutes walk down all these steps to get back to the train station. And I think I've decided that we're just not big like tour people. You have to give all the power over to the tour guides and you don't really get to control anything and then you're surrounded by people the entire time. You don't really just get to go off and adventure and check things out on your own. Rather, you're just stuck with people the entire time being led around by the tour guides. So even though it's more complicated, I think we're definitely gonna try and like book more things on our own rather than using tour guides. A few things we learned along the way is that the reason that the Inca ruins are still standing is because of the way that they built the houses where they were wider on the bottom and smaller on the top so that when earthquakes happened, which two big earthquakes have happened since Machu Picchu was built, then it's a more sturdy structure that's able to stand. One of the coolest things was that we got to see some workers still uncovering parts of Machu Picchu as there is still so much to be explored because so much was built by the Inca people. So while the tour was way too expensive um, for what we ended up getting to see and explore, it was still a good experience. And luckily tomorrow we have another tour with a rainbow mountain. Um, so we're gonna hike back down into the little Machu Picchu town, um, grab a bite to eat before our train picks us up and takes us back to Cusco starting the very long journey to get back to our Airbnb. So we are currently on the train ride back. I couldn't help but get a little chocolate treat after an extremely long day. We're probably not gonna get back to our Airbnb until about 10 p.m. tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we're getting up again at 2.30 to go to the Rainbow Mountains. So these tours back to back might not have been the choice, but that's what we're doing. So a little late night chocolate treat. Okay, so update. Our train has broken down in the middle of the jungle. We've been stopped for probably about 30 minutes so far. And based on the little bit of Spanish that we do know, we overheard on the radio, it sounds like it'll be another 30 minutes. We're already gonna get back to our Airbnb around 10 or 10. 30. We've been up since 2 a.m. and we're just hoping they can get this train going so we're not stuck in the jungle overnight. After this we still have a two-hour bus ride just to get back to Cusco and then I think they just drop us off and we're gonna have to like walk a few blocks or get a taxi back to our Airbnb. So like even after this train ride we still have a long ways to go just to get back. And we didn't even get to go see all of Machu Picchu and the classic photo spot. 
because the wrong ticket got booked and we didn't know it and we didn't get the free time that our ticket said we would get so trying to stay positive here but man we just keep getting like punches thrown oh and we saw a tarantula today that was absolutely crazy all of a sudden our guide said oh watch where you step and the literal tarantula scurries across the path as we were walking in Machu Picchu on the designated path all right, so we've made it all the way back to Cusco. Our bus ride was pretty uneventful, which was super nice after all the issues we had on the train. And it gave me a lot of time to think. So obviously I was very disappointed coming down from Machu Picchu, just because we didn't get to go see like the iconic overlook of Machu Picchu. We had like zero time to go and explore. And you know, really we're just looking forward to those things. And also with all the train issues and getting back, you know, almost an hour and a half, two hours later than what we thought, not super great considering the fact we have to wake up tomorrow morning at 2.30, which is probably only four or five hours from now. But as we were sitting on the train, we saw a lot of local people having to rush onto the train and grab a seat just to be able to get back from work. And it really reminded me that we're so lucky to be here, so lucky to be experiencing all these things. So even though Machu Picchu didn't go nearly as well as what we thought, or it didn't meet all of our expectations, I'm so thankful we have this opportunity to go check everything out. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to follow along for the rest of our adventures here in Peru.